Hi, this is Shubham from Moni Studio and today in this podcast we are going to talk about differences between a direct tax and indirect tax in India. Over here we are going to discuss the meaning of both these taxes, what is the key difference available, what are the different types of taxes in both direct as well as indirect taxes, pros and cons. If you want to read the full article about this then the link of our article is provided in description. Also if you want to watch a quick summary video of less than 90 seconds then subscribe to our YouTube channel view. So let's start the podcast. Income tax is a major source for a government revenue. As a citizen, most of us are familiar with the taxes we pay. But taxes are on different kinds and as per taxpayer, it is essentially for us to know their significance. Broadly, taxes are categorized in two ways. The first one is a direct and second one is indirect. But what is the difference between these is very important. So let's discuss what is some direct tax. Direct tax are the taxes that that you pay directly to the government. A direct tax is a non-transferable which means that there is a no intermediary in the taxation process between you and the government. For example, income tax is a direct tax that you pay directly to the central government of India. Direct taxes are implemented and monitored by the central board of a direct taxes which we call CBDT. Now let's understand what is an indirect tax. Indirect taxes are taxes that are paid by a third party and the there are transferable. This means that the liability to pay the tax to the government shifted to another entity. For example, GST or goods and service tax is an indirect tax. The entities are purchased things from such a supermarkets are the responsible for passing the tax to the government. Indirect taxes are governed by the central board of indirect taxes and custom. Now let's understand what is the key difference between a direct tax as well as indirect tax. The first major difference is on whom is to tax imposed. Direct tax is imposed directly on your income or any activity you conduct whereas indirect tax is imposed on the goods and services that you purchase from a third party. Second key difference is who pay the taxes. Business pay a direct tax on profit or gains and individual on their respective income. On the other hand, intermediary pay indirect tax to the government but is recovered from the end consumer. The third difference is transferability of a taxes. As we discussed the direct tax is a non-transferable but indirect tax is transferable because of an intermediary involved. The fourth key difference is what is the nature of these taxes. A direct tax is a progressive in nature which means that if rate increases with a higher income level for example a slab rate an indirect tax is a regressive which means that it rate decreases with a higher income level. The fifth difference is effects on economy. A direct tax may reduce an inflation but an indirect tax may increase an inflation due to their nature of progressive and regressiveness. The sixth key difference is a cost of implementation. A direct tax has more cost involved because of its variable in nature and presence of exemptions and indirect tax has a lesser cost involved because of a stable and uniform collection. The last difference is when it is paid. A direct tax is paid after you receive your income or profit and indirect tax is paid at the time of purchase of goods or receiving services. Now let's discuss what are the different types of direct tax available. The first one is an income tax which is paid by the earning citizen of the country based on their tax bracket. The second are the corporate tax which are paid by companies on their profit when they make a tax that is decided by whether the company is incorporated within India or outside India. Earlier direct tax include two more taxes inheritance tax which is levied on a property inherited by taxpayer and wealth tax on the property owned by taxpayer but these were abolished in 1985 and 2015 respectively. Now understand what are the different types of indirect taxes available. The first one is a goods and service tax act or GST which is imposed on the purchase of goods and services across the country. It is introduced in 2017 and many indirect taxes previously such as VAT excess duty are abolish. The second one is the central excess duty which is levied on the goods produced within the country. It is important to note that direct as well as indirect tax mentioned here are not of exhaustive list of taxes available in country but these are the most noteworthy ones which contribute major chunk of a government's earning. Now let's discuss what are the pros and cons of indirect as well as direct taxes. Direct tax 
axes are known to help the curve inflation and generally considered more as equitable. They come with a well-defined tax bracket and exemption, ensuring a much needed social and economic balance, especially in diverse countries like India. However, because of a variability, direct taxes are easier to invade. Moreover, because they have to be paid in lump sum every year, they can also prove to be a burdensome. On the other hand, indirect taxes are uniform and non evadable as they are incorporated within the price of a commodity. However, uniformity of indirect taxes often fails to take into consideration the existing wealth gap in our country. Moreover, it also makes commodity expensive and can thus do in inflationary terms. Now let's discuss what is a bottom line over here. Taxes play a vital role in the growth and balance of the economy. Even with the difference between direct and indirect tax, each tax is important as it contributes to the government's revenue which is being used for the betterment of a country. It is a responsibility of a government to implement fair taxes and it is responsibility of a taxpayer to pay taxes on time. If you want to read the full article about this in the link of our article is provided in description. Also if you want to watch a quick summary video of a less than 90 seconds then subscribe to our youtube channel Monist TV. Thank you guys for joining with us for this podcast over here Shubham from Monist TV signing off.